Hey guys, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a DIY dog bed. Hey everybody, this is Hercules and he sleeps with me every night. But I'm going to make his own bed because he's a big boy now. He's four years old, so he has to have his own bed by now. You're going to still sleep with me every night, aren't you? Give me a kiss. I love sleeping with Hercules, but I just want to make him a bed. I know it's so extra, but I know he's just going to love it, and it's going to be so cute. I'm probably going to love it more than he does. But um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just kind of blueprint out what I think I want it to look like, and I'm just literally going to wing it and bring you guys along with me. Look how cute he looks, Hercules. I need to go as a Dollar Tree to get some white foam boards, maybe two of them, and if I could find just some little mini columns. And that's the first stop. Let's go. So we got our stuff at the Dollar Tree and now we're on our way to Walmart to get the rest of the supplies. Finally made it to Walmart. There was Alright, I'm gonna start. If you guys like what you see, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe for more videos. I'm just starting off. This is all brand new, but I'm very excited to start this journey. So this is my bed. You can see Hercules there. It's like all white and it's tufted. It has these crystals in the tufted part for little Hercules. Oh my God, Hercules! Um, I'm gonna go over the materials with you guys. Um, really fancy, bador, vintage, Victorian dog beds. And I went through quite some results. They're pretty pricey. <laughs> from like $300 to $1,200 from Neiman Marcus. So for the first item I'm gonna show you guys, I bought these. The next material, spray paint, Becky glue, these. I bought these little candle holders, about 12 of them. Let's get started. So I laid out the materials on my bed so you can see what they look like all together, not including the dog. Just like hiding right in that corner. <gasps> oh, now you're on that corner. Um, I forgot to mention I have these boards. So I got three of these at Walmart. I have an extra larger board. What do you like? Do you like white or do you like gold? I like whatever you make for me. It'll be perfect. Oh, thank you! So we're outside right now and I'm gonna show you guys the first step to get it out of the way and by the time we're done with the other steps, this would be dry and finished. We're outside, I have this board here. Just gonna lay out the materials. All right, great, so we got our item spray painted for our columns. The reason why we wanted to put it directly in the sunlight is so it'll dry so much faster than if it was indoors and it won't stink up the whole place. Forgot to show you guys, you're gonna need some white fabric to cover on top of the foam boards. This one was $2 per yard at Walmart. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you step two. I have three of these boards and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to stack these on top of each other. I'm gonna put one down here. We're first gonna make the bed frame. So we're gonna start with the bottom bed frame. <laughs> you wanna take one cardboard and place the foam right on top of there, like that. And we're actually going to place a second one and then another box or another foam board right on top, like that. All right, so we got the foam board here and you're gonna wanna take the tacky glue and on this foam corner. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and place matching the corners of the white cardboard. Set that aside and then we're gonna grab another foam board, put some tacky glue. You're gonna glue three of these together to make the headboard. Are 
Are you happy? Very happy. Be very careful when you're using this, guys. You might want to use some gloves because it is very sharp. I have a board right underneath, and we're just gonna go ahead and cut. Are we gonna wanna cut off the access over here? I'm gonna show you guys that you can also use scissors to cut it. And I'm just gonna cut off the excess of the entire board. Ta da! And this is our headboard. So, this is um, the fabric that we're gonna be using. It's all white. So, we have the headboard placed right on top of some material like this. And I measured it to where it actually folds over but it'll be hidden. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the top part. This is gonna be the top of the headboard, so I wanna make sure this one looks really, really clean. All right, this will be the top of the headboard. All right, guys, so we're going to go to the most fun part. It's going to be the tufted headboard, and I'm going to fold over the fabric and glue that right on. Kind of like a when you're wrapping a present this time, but instead of having the wrapping on the outside, you're going to push it inwards like that, and then we're going to pull this one up. The next thing we're going to need to make the tufted part for our headboard is some sewing. I'm going to go two inches from here. That marks me right there. And then I'm going to go down again. And then for every two inches, I'm going to mark it again. Alright guys, this is where we're at and we got all of our markings. I wanted to show you a more better view. Step one, grab a needle and a thread and place the thread right through the needle. Then you're going to want to pull that thread through there. You're going to want to double that to 12 inches. And to poke that needle right through that dot straight down these nails come in handy it's gonna come out through the other side that's when we're gonna design our tufted lastly what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to put the thread right through there just a couple more times so it'll be nice and firm where it's at all right, well, this is the finished tufted. We got one down. What you're gonna do is I'm gonna sew all the red dotted holes first, and then I'm gonna go back to it and just glue them right on like that. Okay, so we have this finished, and we're actually gonna leave two rows unquilted. I'm gonna show you guys why. Next up, I got some E6000 glue, and I'm just gonna go ahead and open that and place a little bit of glue directly on a crystal like that the very end of it it on our first mark right there so cute and then I'm gonna repeat it all the way all right guys wow look at how pretty this came out. I ended up sewing the remainder dots. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the rest of the crystals to fill in those spots. Six. Ta-da! And then we're just going to wait for that to dry. I brought in the columns. They're now dry and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stack them one right on top of each other like this. 
I'm gonna grab the glue to right around the corner of one column. This glue is really strong, so this stuff is supposed to be able to glue metal together. So I'm very confident that this would hold very well for our columns. We're gonna leave it there like this and take like that. All right, so this is where we are so far. We got our box spring with all of crystals in them. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna put these smaller crystals on there. So our mattress is 16 by 16, and what I'm actually gonna do is keep the length at 16, but the width we're going to cut off about one inch. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cover it up with fabric just like the first box spring that we did earlier. And there we have it. The mattress is now wrapped up. We're gonna put that aside. And lastly, cover this one up right now. All right, so this is where I'm at. We have the quilted bed frame, the back of quilted bed frames would be like up like this. And then here we have our mattress. This is our box spring. And then we're gonna place that mattress right on top like this. This part is a mattress and I'm actually going to do a little custom design on here while I wait for our headboard to dry. Ta-da! I made Hercules a little dog bone. What I did was I sketched out a dog bone and then I just used some tacky glue and I outlined it and I added the crystals right on top of it. So now he has a little dog bone. What I'm going to do, I'm going to want to glue this edge. This is our DIY tufted Fonsi Victorian dog bed under $50 for all the materials. Make sure if you like it to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon.